Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I want to share with you the top three serums from The Ordinary when it comes to fading hyperpigmentation, dark spots and discoloration. Did you know that hyperpigmentation is actually the number one reported skin concern globally? Lots of people are looking to fade their hyperpigmentation, but unfortunately, it can take a lot of effort. You need a lot of active ingredients, lots of different products, and all of that can add together to mean a lot of your coin spent on skincare. That doesn't actually need to be the case. I love The Ordinary because they're affordable, budget-friendly price point, and I genuinely believe combining these three serums together in your skincare routine can give you some next-level hyperpigmentation results. And the best thing is, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you the very best hack for seamlessly incorporating these into your existing routine with minimum effort. Sit back, relax, let's talk the ordinary serums for hyperpigmentation. Now, before we get into this video, I would of course love to know your own experiences with the products I'm sharing today. These are just my thoughts, feelings and opinions, and of course I would love to hear yours. So get that conversation going in the comments section below. Whatever your thoughts on the products that I'm mentioning today, if you like this style of content where we talk about working smarter, not necessarily harder when it comes to our skincare, getting elevated and next level results, let me know by giving the video a big thumbs up and a like. This honestly does support me as a content creator so much because the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much. Now I've got a lot to get through in this video, so let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. So for these three serums, I'm going to start with what I call an oldie, but a goodie. This is the ordinary Alpha Arbutin 2% plus Hyaluronic Acid. Now I call it an oldie because this was actually a serum the ordinary launched with way back when. And I've had a bit of an up and down relationship with this product. The reasons that I stopped using it is because I just don't think I understood or set my expectations correctly. Alpha Arbutin is a great addition to a skincare routine, but on its own, I don't think it's ever going to be enough to fade your hyperpigmentation. I bought into the hype around this product, applied it and expected game changing results. When I didn't get those, I stopped and thought, well, obviously it's just a rubbish product and it's not going to deliver. This isn't the case. Actually, what I would see this product as is a booster to your existing routine. If you've already got a hyperpigmentation routine sorted and you're getting okay results, but you want to take them to the next level, just slot in the ordinary Alpha Arbutin 2% and this will help you achieve that. The best thing is this is compatible with all other skincare actives. So you don't need to mess around, you know, switching things in and out of your routine. You can just slot this straight in and get those next level results. See this as a booster rather than a standalone hyperpigmentation treatment and I think then you'll absolutely be impressed with the results. It's eight pounds and one bottle will last me about two months. So for that boost to efficacy of the rest of your routine, I think this is worth it every single time. It's suitable for all skin types, tones, and even if you've got super sensitive skin, providing you patch test first, this can work really, really well for you. Now, up next, we have this product, which is the Ordinary Aloe 2% plus NAG 2% Serum. Now, for those of you that have been with the channel some time, you're probably going, oh, really? This again? Because I have mentioned this a lot on the channel. In fact, I crowned it the best skincare product of 2023 in a video I did last year. I'll dig that out and I'll link it up there if you want to check it out. The reason I said this is special, it's, it works in two ways against hyperpigmentation. The aloe actually minimizes inflammation. And when we consider that inflammation is actually the number one trigger for the excess pigment in the first place, this will prevent that hyperpigmentation ever occurring. And remember, prevention so much better than the cure, which is why this is so amazing. Also combines the aloe though with NAG, which is a proven active that over time will fade hyperpigmentation and give us a more even skin tone. This is like a double whammy. And in keeping with that Alpha Arbutin product, this can be used alongside all the rest of your skincare. So you don't really need to think about what can and can't be used together. This is just friends with everything. It's suitable for almost all skin types. Again, make sure that you patch test first, but even if you have sensitive skin, this can deliver. And I think that's really where it comes into its own. If you're someone that has super sensitive skin, but also hyperpigmentation, you probably think that nothing out there is made for you. You know, none of these serums are gentle enough to actually be meaningful in terms of its impact without sensitizing the skin. Well, this can. The Ordinary Aloe plus NAG, I think genuinely, is a game changer and I have been loving it ever since it launched. Now finally, let's talk about this. This is the Ordinary Ascorbyl Tetroisopalmitate Solution 20% in Vitamin F. 
This is a vitamin C derivative, which is great because again, it can be used by all skin types and tones. Doesn't matter if you have super sensitive skin, you can use a vitamin C derivative. Also layers and pairs with every other active in your skincare routine. So it fits in seamlessly alongside the aloe that we've just mentioned or the alpha arbutin too. A lot of people already use vitamin C in its pure form, ascorbic or l ascorbic acid on a morning, which is absolutely fine. If you've got your vitamin C locked down, keep on using it. But then consider using this, a vitamin C derivative, in your evening skincare routine. It's fine to use alongside your retinoid, and it just means you get an extra dose of that vitamin C without dialing up the sensitivity and irritation. Why this is so special is not only it's my favourite form of vitamin C derivative, but it's also paired with vitamin F, which is hydrating and a potent antioxidant. Antioxidants protect the skin from oxidative stress. And oxidative stress is actually one of the key triggers along with inflammation in the skin for hyperpigmentation in the first place. So this treats by fading hyperpigmentation, evening out the skin tone, but it also prevents too. Which again, like that aloe product I just mentioned is a true double whammy. So these three products are amazing. You don't need to use all three together. You could use one or two, but for me, I think using the three in combination is where you're gonna get the quickest and the most advanced hyperpigmentation results. They're all super affordable, like with everything from the ordinary. So actually pairing these three together is a really inexpensive way of getting some great results when it comes to boosting glow, radiance and luminosity, and getting a more even skin tone. But in this section of the video, I'm super excited because I want to share with you the best hack for combining these three seamlessly into your existing skincare routine. So on an evening, what I do is I get a moisturiser and I will mix a couple of drops of each one of these into my moisturiser in the palm of my hand and then I'll apply it to the skin. This way I feel you get better absorption because that moisturiser is going to act like a vehicle to get all of that goodness into the skin. You get that added dose of hydration from the moisturiser itself and I feel that this way you can kind of get it all done in one. The top tip though, if you're doing this, is to go for a slightly thicker moisturiser. Because you're gonna be adding a couple of drops of each of these three serums into it, it will water it down a little. So it works better if you start with a slightly thicker moisturiser. I use this, which is the Mad About Skin Maximum Impact Moisturiser, which comes from my own skincare brand. This is slightly thicker on application, so I find that once you apply those into it, it just comes out with the most perfect texture. You also need to make sure you use a moisturiser that isn't packed full of actives. Because you've got a lot of actives going on in those three serums together, you don't want to overload the skin with further actives in your moisturiser. So go for something that's super hydrating on the skin, but active free when it comes to your moisturiser, and this way you'll just get a seamless application. Of course you don't have to use my moisturiser, there are lots that fit the bill on the market and at the drugstore, but if you wanted to give this a go, um, just to kind of celebrate this hack and hopefully encourage everyone to give it a go if you haven't already, um, you can actually get 30% off this for a limited time only using the code that's in the description box below. I've linked all the products by the way if you didn't quite catch the name in the description box, so head down there, there's a 30% um, code for this one and it's already super affordable anyway and links to the other products. But yeah, a couple of drops of those two serums into a moisturiser and apply it to the skin. But don't just stop at the face. If you have discoloration on the rest of the body, you know, under the arm, maybe on the thighs, wherever you have discoloration, you can again apply this moisturiser infused with those serums onto those areas where you have that discoloration and get a more even body just ready for summer, which is hopefully <laughs> round the corner. Um, it also, it's always worth mentioning, I'm not the biggest fan of, you know, mixing everything together and slapping it on the face, because I think you have to really understand the ingredients, the formulations, whether they work well together before doing that. However, I investigated this thoroughly and you can absolutely use these three serums together in that moisturiser to kind of get a real streamlined and seamless application. You need to be careful of, like I say, which ingredients pair with others, are any of them pH sensitive and things like that before you do it. But in this case, it's absolutely fine. It's allowed me to get on an evening a little boost to my hyperpigmentation fighting without having to have a million and one different steps. And this is why I'm so happy to share it with you in today's video. I would love to know your thoughts, feelings and opinions on this hack, on these um, serums that I mentioned today. Have I missed out one of your personal favourites? Sound off in the comments section below, wherever you are in the world guys. Stay safe, stay well and love your skin. Take care. Bye.